Hey you guys, it's M4J here and welcome back to the youthful Hatfield Town here on Football Manager 2020. Uh, I need to, at the end of this current season, which hopefully will be uh, finishing up today, I need to change out the badge because the, uh, the Hatfield badge has changed. I'm also going to be making brand new kits for next season. I was considering live streaming myself doing it, but... Um, my internet's still been a little bit iffy. I'm actually uploading a video whilst recording this at the moment, so we will see how well that goes. But yeah, doing daily uploads means I've got to upload videos with enough time to spare, and uh, squeezing in streams in amongst that might not be the best idea, but we'll see. We'll see. If I don't do it for this this current kit iteration, I'll do it for the next one. Because um, I do want to get back into streaming, because it is a lot of fun. And uh, I like getting live feedback from you guys, even though the technical issues and lack of viewership at times can be frustrating. Anyway, we're top of the league. 34 games played, 26 wins, 4 draws, 4 losses. We're on 82 points. We are 16 points ahead of Tring, who are in 2nd place. There are 21 teams in the league, which means there's 40 matches played. We have 6 games to go, and we're 16 points clear. So that means our next win will win us the league which is why I wanted to show you guys this part of the season. The lowest we can finish in the league now is second, uh, which is a no-go. Not going to do that. We are winning the league. In terms of the Cups, we're in the semi-final of the Spartan South Midlands League Challenge Trophy against Harpenden. We lost to Southall in the Spartan South Midlands Premier League Division Cup in the quarterfinals. We also lost the quarterfinals of the FA Vars, which was really, really unlucky. We had a man sent off, uh, which didn't help. I think it was Vincent got sent off really didn't help uh, and that was against Padaham I'm probably saying that wrong Paddyham Padaham and we lost in the second qualifying round of the FA Cup to Staley Bridge but that's you know that happens um, let's continue we have a youth intake match coming up very very soon I also let's get the music started uh, let's go with you me and gravity it's one of my favorite tracks from the um, planet coaster soundtrack hopefully you guys can hear it Uh, so I'm, I'm also looking forward to the future now. I'm trying to bring in some players. This guy's a little bit old, but I wanted to bring him in on trial anyway, just to see what he's like. He's a right back. Uh, I say he's old. He's not old. Let me get that clear. He's only a year older than I am now. He's 28. But the board wants me to sign players no older than, is it 23? Uh, or it might be 25. But this guy here, Matty Willock, I'm really interested in having a look at this guy. For those of you that don't know, Joe Willock, who plays for uh, Arsenal, this is his brother. There is a third brother whose name escapes me right now. Is it Callum? Hang on a second. Wikipedia is my friend. I think it's Callum. There is, I'm sure there's a Callum Willock who exists. Uh, da, 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 personal life. Chris. Yes, Chris. Sorry, Chris Willock. I'm so sorry. If you're watching this for whatever reason, Chris, I apologize for forgetting about you. Uh, yeah, he's the one who actually went to Benfica, which is awesome. That's why. Oh, I signed him as well. That's the annoying thing. I've signed him on things like FIFA or Football Manager or something in the past. So I should know who he is. I have no excuses. Anyway, Matty Willock, midfielder. Looks awesome. Very tempting to sign him. Let's see what kind of deal he wants. Oh, he's affordable as well. He is affordable. If I could get him on an optional contract extension, and maybe one off the promotion as well. That's what I've been doing for all my big players. Uh, he wants a 30% wage rise for promotion. I'm okay with that because he's only on 250 a week. Alright, let's uh, let's bribe him a little bit. We can bribe him a little bit more. He's, he's close. He's close. I can smell that he's close. That sounds wrong. Alright, we got him. Yeah, so Matty Willock was at Man United. He now plays for Gillingham. Joe Willock is at Arsenal. And Chris Willock is currently on loan at Huddersfield from Benfica. So, a good trio of brothers there. Uh, you don't often see... 
Normally you see like two brothers, the Amiobi brothers immediately spring to mind. You've also got the Keen twins, Will and uh, Michael. Not many people know that they're twins actually, but they are. Um, mainly because you don't see Will Keen on the pitch very often because he's a bit riddled with injuries, unfortunately. But yeah, you don't, you don't tend to see three brothers out and about doing things. I think the Soji brothers are the only ones that spring to mind for me. And even then, it was only really Effie Soji that had a, a full, full-time career. The others were they sort of dipped in and out and then they I think they all got found guilty of something didn't they they're all doing jail time now which isn't very good anyway youth team so this is our youth intake we've already uh, I've already received the reports we've got a couple of good strikers to watch out for I think one of them is this guy up top here Luke Lane oh no it's not him who is it Proctor ah Proctor was one of them already the stars have gone down the highest one was three stars for potential and one and a half, I think, for current. I am looking at the right. Oh, here we go. Uh, so Archie Wilson is one to watch out for. His finishing's pretty good, actually, for someone of his age. So I definitely want to keep an eye out on him. Make sure he doesn't get poached. But let's have a watch of this. Uh, I'm going to make sure that highlights are set to. Yep, key. Good. That was Wilson with the header there. Who's going to win that race? Rutherford Wilton. He's pretty quick. Wilson. Good pullback to Curtis. Good cross. Lane's header. Hits the crossbar. Goes over the top. <coughs> that was a very good chance. Good maturity from the youngsters here. They're all sort of 16, 17. I think a couple of them might be 15 years old. That's some really good patient build-up play. Really fast, Rutherford Wilton. I'll have to have a look at his stats after the match. My uh, under-18s, on the other hand, are absolutely knackered. Look at their condition. Clinton Ricketts, the right back. He's basically done. Oh, that was a good goal. Tyler Lakin. Just caught it out of the corner of my eye there as I was looking at the conditions. So Lane with the free kick. Rutherford Wilton with the flick on. Lakin came from nowhere. Great finish under the keeper. Tucked it just inside the, the uh, far post. I believe it's the technical term. we got some real double-barreled surnames here as well. Cook Byram. Gregory Cairns, is that? Fry Gooden. Another good save. Lots of double-barreled surnames. Seems to be becoming a, a trend these days. People don't want to give up their their maiden names. Women don't want to give up their maiden names. I think double-barreled surnames is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Luke Lane, good header. Twice in four minutes was that. Bloody hell. I always, as I've said before, I always root for the candidates team. I want them to be better than my under-18s. But a route is a little bit embarrassing, considering some of these players I've been tipping for a future in the first team. Oh my god, that was a free kick and a half, wasn't it? 30 yards out. It clipped the post on the way in. You've got to have some balls to hit it from there. He's 16 years old, people. That was a hell of a free kick. Let's see what our kids can do in response. Lee now lines one up. Well, there you go. Anything he can do, Lee can do too. Not really better. He did it from five yards further in. Yeah, Suleiman should have saved that. That was pretty much straight at him. Not the most impressive bit of goalkeeping there. Right, coming up to half time. A couple of minutes left. Pierce with the throw to Lakin. Who seems to have had a good first half. Gregory forward. Bit rash that pass. Could have timed it a little bit better. Looks like the under 18s are starting to come back into this game a little bit more. Possession wise, it's almost 50 50. Pierce over the top. Lane brings it down. Lane shoots. Lane scores. Hat trick for Luke Lane. And the 
again, the goalkeeper there, not really covering himself in glory. Went straight under his legs. Not the best. Not the best. Not the worst. Not the best. Okay. 4-1 at half-time. I think that's the highest scoreline I've ever seen at half-time in a candidates match. Uh, Rene Greengrass has come on for Cameron Barley. we got the crops coming on. <laughs> one, one crop off, one crop on. Wilson now with the shot. Good save, Gregory Cairns. I am kind of keeping an eye on goalkeeping. Uh, I've got two goalkeepers at the moment. But Andre Jr. has been making a few mistakes recently. So I might start giving the other guy an opportunity. I'm trying to remember his name. Benjamin something. I should know the names of all my players, really. It's not good management for me. Imagine that. Jurgen Klopp walks in one day. Actually, I made this joke yesterday. So I'm recording this on the Monday, by the way. The day after the Merseyside derby. I kind of made the joke that Klopp gets on the bus and sees Minamino sitting there and just asks, who are you again? And then uh, he goes, oh yeah, 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 Minamino, yeah, you're starting today. Poor Salah has to drop to the bench just because Klopp forgot the name of one of his players. That didn't happen in real life before anyone starts a you know, litigation uh, against me. <clears throat> but it would be funny if it did. Oh, that's a good finish. Offside? Yeah, Fry good and Offside. Wasn't he playing centre back just now? Lafayette. Bloody hell. He'll fit right in in New Guard City. So that was a really nice finish, but he didn't time his run very well. Yeah, this second half's a little less uh, interesting than the first half. Subs are starting to come on now as well, which does suck the life out of the game. Under 18s was sub their goalkeeper. Oh dear. Oh, what a clearance off the line that was. What's that guy's name? Barry what? Oh, Barry Morrison. I thought his name was Barry Monsoon then. That sounded like a, you know, a stage name. What a finish that is. Oliver Blackwell. Rutherford Wilton with the corner. Headed out. Great first touch. Look at that. I think it had outside curl on it. A celebration to match. The running backwards while shouting at your teammates celebration. I've seen that a few times. My, my kids have been well and truly thumped here. It's not over yet. Collier forward. Right bring down. Blackwell's through on goal again. He's going to shoot. He is. Good save by Miller. I'm going to put my glasses on so I can read my screen a bit better. Because I am apparently blind as a bat from even a, a yard away. be interesting to see, because I, I don't watch these videos back for obvious reasons. Uh, even when I'm editing, you know, I, I watch out for keyframes and stuff like that, of course. But... Uh, my, my preview window when I'm editing is tiny, so I can't really read the text. So I'm playing in 4K, and then I scale it down to 1080 when I'm capturing. How how visible, how legible is the text for you guys? Because even on my preview window now, it's scrunched down, so I can't see it. It's not 1080. I was trying to do the maths. So it's about it's half the resolution, 1080 to 4K. Or at least it is on my monitor. So everything's half the size that it is for me right now. I'm wondering if I might have to change my capturing to 4K. Because this is quite a text-heavy game, despite the engine showing matches. That was a 5-1 win for the candidates. That was a really good performance from them. Very happy with that. So we're going to have some uh, decisions to make. First and foremost, Archie Wilson. I 
I'm signing you manually. As a part-time footballer. Let's put you on 70 quid a week for the 1k bonus. We'll pretty much double your money if you appear for us. And I want an optional contract extension of a year. Thought you might accept that. Uh, this guy here as well, Joe Trier, centre back. say 45 quid a week 1k signing bonus that's the bit that does it for me the 1k signing bonus that's the one where you know people will uh, prick their ears up when you say that there we go who else did well Luke Lane obviously I'll let the uh, head of you sign up the rest of these I think Where's Blackwell? Where's the score? These are my under 18s, aren't they? Oh no, these are the youth candidates. So you, you're actually not that good. You got good pace, that's about it. Uh, Rutherford Wilton. Okay, not, not the best in the world. I'm going to let my head of youth deal with the rest of those. Let's see what happens. Kyle Lee, showing good progress. You have been showing good progress. Are you someone I brought in? No, you are. You are. Especially you are mine. But no, you, you are ours. You belong to the club. Uh, right, Hancock, he's another, he's a left back, I believe. Yes, he's a left back I've been looking at. My scouting budget is run out, so I can't get a full look as to how good he is. It's a free transfer. I'll take the risk. Uh, Wilson has signed a youth contract. Yes, you were the striker, weren't you? I'm tempted to move you into the academy team. Make you available for the under 18s. Same with Ty uh, keep going to call him Tyler. Same with Trier. Move him to the academy squad. Someone remind me that these two guys exist. over to uh, my assistant there. Suddenly loads of players are coming available. Carl Woodson, yeah I've seen him play on loan for Stevenage. I'm going to offer him a trial. He's again on the older side. I feel bad calling a 29 year old old, but you know what I mean. Uh, Jordan Fanqua. French. Only 18. i got to be careful to not flood my midfield. So I have got quite a few midfielders now. But free transfer could be worth it. Hancock's looks good. Maybe I should have negotiated that one myself. Matty Willock as well. Carl De Silva. Now Carl De Silva, he used to play for Palace, if I remember correctly. Yeah. I don't think he ever made any actual appearances for... Oh no, he did. Seven appearances here. But he's played for Barnet. Notts County, Eindhoven, not PSV Eindhoven. I've, I, I think I've had him at Bromley before now on Football Manager. I think I've, this is when I did my journeyman. One of my journeyman saves started at Bromley, moved to Plymouth, Huddersfield, and then somewhere else. I can't remember where. I always took a player with me from my previous club to my next, and I took him from Bromley to Plymouth. He did all right. wasn't the best, but he did all right.
homegrown players update. Yep, we've got two new added to that. Things are looking rosy for the hats. I think the uh, the new name, new name for Hatfield is the Stags with a Z. S-T-A-G-Z. That's better than the hats, because the hat sounds a bit too much like the Hatters, which is Luton. And I hate Luton. So, the Stags sounds a lot nicer. It's a bit... It's a bit generic, because most things in Hertfordshire are the Stags, because the, uh, the Stag is on the badge. Even Stevenage have the Stag on the badge now. Potential Vanarama National Central Midfielder. That sounds good enough for me. Let's see what you want. So affordable. You are so affordable. Forty-five quid a week. That's all he wants for the extra. Okay, fifty quid a week for the extra fifteen if he comes on. Carl Woodson. Actually, he's not 28. He's 25. I need a target, man. Again, it's really tempting. He's expensive, mind. Don't think I can afford him. Let's try bribery. See if it works. What are the bonuses? If we win the league. Give you a thousand pounds. We'll give you, yeah, 30% wage increase. It's about the highest I can get to you right now. Let's say we reach the final of the FA Vars. Yeah, another thousand. I'll do for that. Let's go with a wage increase after 20 games. And then seasonal landmark bonus if you score 30 goals. I mean, if you score 30 goals for us, you do deserve quite a lot of money. And I'm going to do the optional contract extension of a year. The sell on fee percentage of 20%. Damn you. Why can't I offer that bonus? I'm going to remove that one. Non negotiable. Yeah, figures. That's a shame. He would have been good. Right, we're closing in on a winning run record as well, which is awesome. We got Cock Fosters away. We could potentially win the league. Here. Let's risk it and tell the team. The youngsters and Pamen. Why is Pamen reacting badly to that? There we go. Massive boost. Everyone's happy apart from Mead for some reason. Why is Mead unhappy? Charlie Carter has signed a new contract as well. That's awesome. He's the first one who I did the uh, optional contract extension with because he was getting finicky this year about wanting to leave. He's been one of our best players this season. Look at his star rating. He scored 19 goals in 26 games for us, which is just incredible. Okay, he's dropped down a few levels from Stevenage, but still. Carl De Silva is also joining. He was going to be uh, the replacement for Carter if Carter left, but having them both in and around the squad would be awesome. Versatility on the bench as well. That's another good thing that's coming out of this. So yeah, we can potentially wrap up the league title with this one win against Cock Fosters. Is 
The silver hasn't quite got the uh, the star rating I was hoping for. This can be deceiving though. Like Dinsmore was only one and a half stars, and we all know how good he was. It's just the versatility though. Look, you can play on either wing. You can play up front, but not convincingly. You can play central midfield, quite convincingly, and he can play as the cam. So he's he's worth having. Is there anyone else we're in talks with at the moment? Willock, Hancock's... Uh, oh yeah, and Fanqua as well. Getting Willock in would be awesome too. Uh, right, I just want to go staff responsibilities. Delegate friendly matches. I was arranging friendly matches between all of these league matches just to experiment with ideas that I've been having. So I've still got the friendlies. I'm not going to explode. But I'm just going to let the assistant take take charge of them now match day here we go shall I give De Silva his debut I'll have a look at who's on the bench uh, Willock's just signed as well so I've got a bit of a selection headache now I want to see why why is Mead unhappy uh, that's not what I wanted that's what I wanted Josh Mead. Lost trust in manager. Maybe I'll recommend a staff edition. Yeah. Yeah, why is he... Happiness. He's delighted with the amount of game time. Expects to be considered among the most noteworthy players at the club. He's considering his options. He appreciates my position as manager. made to convince him to renew his contract has been broken. I'm just wondering what that was. Was it strengthening the first team, maybe? Don't know. Anyway, Willock. Willock is in. He might be taking um, Mead's place in the, in the team for this match. He's a box-to-box -box as well, which is really good. Fitzhugh, by the way, out on the right wing. He's had a, a good run of form lately. Scored a couple of really, really good goals cutting inside onto the left foot. Been really happy with his performances. On the uh, the left-hand side, Cox has done all right when he's actually stayed out on the pitch. Normally he does get subbed off after about 16 minutes though, which is a little unfortunate. Yes, third kit. This might be the last time we see the third kit before I make the new ones. I don't know, I might keep it for another season. We'll see. Box to box, we'll set you to support. Uh, run wide with the ball, tackle harder. Fewer risks, shoot less often, dribble less. Move into channels. Okay, sounds good to me. In terms of centre back, uh, who was. We got your higher playing centre back at the moment. I can't remember who was meant to be there. I think, actually, it was supposed to be um, Fielding. I'm going to put Fielding back and centre back. Let's swap you two over. Looks good. So we've got a really strong team out there now. Shame about Woodson. I might try and sign him again at the end of the season, because you never know. I like Sangare, but he did get injured at one point during the season, and we didn't have anyone who could really cover for him. We got Walker, who scored seven goals this season. But everyone else, I tried playing Jones there. I tried playing a Gesson there for a match. Um, you know, I, I tried playing who else? Sadie as a lone striker. It just wasn't really working for him. He does well when he comes off the bench, particularly when he plays out wide. As a lone striker, it just was not working for him. Right, this could be the game that wins the league. I 
I'm very happy with Willard Innocent at left back. Very happy with Charlie Carter as well. Him and Vincent should sign. Well, Carter has already signed. Vincent should sign a new deal soon as well. Okay, let's uh, let's have a few more highlights for this game. Just do extended. Vladinson, good ball forward. Sangari running onto it. Is he onside? Looks like he is. Great save by their goalkeeper. Great save. Vincent's corner. He broke the assist record again, by the way. Francis Vincent, fantastic player. Come on, Willock, let's see what you're made of. Good hold up. Very good hold up. This was a good play from Willard Innocent as well to win the ball there. That's a cracking save. Alright, Lewis with the throw to Carter, finds Fitzhugh. Across to Willock. Back out wide to Lewis, forward to Vincent, back out wide to Lewis. Into Willock, Carter, Vincent. Nice build up play. Just to say that, he gets tackled, but he has re retained it. Yeah, Cox isn't really going to be scoring many headers, let's be honest. And he's just come off. He did his 15 minutes. Daft has come on for him. Daft's done alright. He's kind of the forgotten man. Willock on the ball. Out to Willard Innocent. Back to Willock. He's certainly seeing a lot of it. Carter, nice pass to Fitzhugh. Good cross, Sangare's header. Get in. 26th goal of the season. What a header. Great build up as well. Great build up. This pass from Carter. Great touch, Fitzhugh. Gets it out from under his feet. Picks out his man. That's why I like having wrong footers playing out on the wings. So having a left footer on the right hand side and vice versa. Because you get some real nice in swinging crosses like that. Look at the stats as well. We are all over them. Alright, Andre Jr. short kick to Willard Innocent. Dad's showing for it down the wing. He gets it from the corner. Nice touch. Brings it forward. Is he going to pass it? Any time now? Really? You had fits you in acres. There you go. He finally gets it. Carter now. Carter shoots. It's blocked. Fitzhugh couldn't really do much with the follow-up. We're playing well. I'd like us to score at least one more goal. Half-time, 1-0. I love how the rain pours then as well. That was nice of it. <coughs> right, Cordner to Willard Innocent. Goes long to Sangare. Good head to Daff. Daff somehow holds on to it. Finds Willock. Plays it out wide to Willard Innocent. Good ball forward to Daff. He crosses it. Carter running onto it. Charlie Carter. Handball. It did look like it hit his arm to be fair. I was about to comment on that. See, he raises his arm up above his head. That was a great cross from Daff, though. Why did he handle it? Was it above his head? Even so, it's so obvious when you do that. Unless you're Maradona, of course, in which case everyone seems to miss it. Why did he do that? Alright, still well. 
could disguise past there to Richards. Here's what I'm afraid of. They just need one chance and they can score. Alright, fits you to fielding. Fielding goes long. Sangari couldn't bring it down. Get rid. Smart play. Now get rid. Oh, too much curl on that one. Neville out to Mackenzie Lowe. Crossing opportunity, and he has crossed it. Good block. Vincent's giving it straight back to Mackenzie Lowe. Another good block. All right, come on, boys, break. Daft down the line to Sangare. That would have been a good first touch were it not for the defender being right there. Okay, good conservative play there from Sangare. Let's get a replay of what happened here. So Mackenzie Lowe running down the wing. Willard Innocent didn't really do much to stop the cross. That was a good block. Did I ever pass? That's not... That is Robbie Parsons. Oh, I'll have to have a look at his transfer situation after this. He's playing in the same league as me. Fitzhugh couldn't get the ball in, got tackled. Willock should get this one though, and does. Sprays it out to Lewis. Now fielding. Pops it over the top. That wasn't the best pass. Chest height, I think, was the right one there. Chest high into Vincent, let him turn. Richards now to Stillwell. Quite a lot of space opening up in the midfield areas. Kenzie Lowe shoots. Keeper saves. He's had hardly anything to do in this match, to be fair. Two shots on target. Uh, Wara has come on. Lewis has gone off. That's actually surprising. Why has Lewis gone off? Is he not playing very well? He's on a 6.7. That's pretty good. Carter running through. Shot blocked. Is that going to be a corner? It is. Alright, chance to score here. I think that shot from Carter was actually going wide. I don't know if we'll get a replay on that. Vincent's corner. Yeah, it was a good cross, but no one there. I can say that a lot about Vincent. Normally if it's uh, cleared away like that, I'll say it's a bad cross. But that was, that was a good ball in. Just needed someone on it. Sadie coming on for Willock. So Carter moves back into central midfield alongside Vincent. Dath plays as the cam. Sadie will play down the left. The match plan seems to actually be working logically now. Although saying that, Sadie is probably going to move to goalkeeper or something when we move to the defensive formation in a minute. Actually, that might be why Wara was brought on. Clear that. Oh, it was offside anyway. That was, uh, that was the warning shot though. That was the warning shot. Oh no, Dad's playing centre back now. Yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Ball playing centre back at least. Oh, they're getting closer. That was a really good chance for them. Come on, blow the whistle, ref. Blow the whistle, ref. End it. Yes! League champions, yet again. There it is. Wrong coloured ribbons, but what can you do? That's what happens when you win the league in your third kit, I suppose. Whew, and breathe. Sangari, man of the match for me. Uh, scored the goal. Did really, really well. Good hold-up play as well. Nice conservative passing. You know, didn't take too many risks. Great header for the goal, though. Really well done. And uh, fits you with a very, very good cross. As well, he got 6.9 in the end. Who was our second best player? Fielding? No. Cordner. Yeah, that makes sense actually, given it's Cordner. Only 7.1 though for Sangare. 
So it wasn't the best match in the world. But we are league champions. That's the main thing. Uh, Vincent's happy. Good stuff. Transfer budget of £249,000. I only spent like 50000 this year. Hardly anything really. And that includes you know, contract negotiations and stuff as well. So the wage budget is going to be awesome. That's why I might have another sniff at Carl Woodson. Because our wage budget... Excuse me, our wage budget would have increased a lot now. Um, Willock, he had a very good debut actually. I thought he played well. So Vincent's happy that might help him sign the new contract. Good, let's have a look at the wage budget and see how much it's gone up by. Three and a half thousand a week now, we can afford. I might renegotiate the Hancock's contract. Oh, he has signed. Nice. We got him on £65 a week. He wanted somewhere between 340 and 425 uh, 350 and 425 according to the, um, the scout report. We got him for 65 quid a week. Who negotiated his deal? Steve Wilson, director of football. That's, yeah, fair play. Who are you? Tommy Wood. Also a striker. You look good too. Good to add his transfer target. Might as well. You play for Swindon. Yeah, I think we got enough midfielders. Can't really see what you would add. Plus, I don't think we'll be able to sign you. You're also a midfielder. Uh, yeah. Nah, I'm just gonna uh, leave that. <clears throat> right, Hancock's. Oh, that's very misleading. All right, he's not going to be staying long. Four stars, it said. Yeah, we're going to be the very best team we can be. We're going to be the very best team. We're going to be the very best like no one ever was. Right, so we've got Friendly coming up, which we're not going to be watching. And then we've got Kempston Rovers in the league. At this point, I might start experimenting with playing some youth players, seeing how well they do. We've won the league. You know, we, we could still go for trying to win as many games as possible. There's no one beating record on the line now necessarily. We got that winning run, I suppose. Could potentially set a record there. But if we were unbeaten still, I would play the first team a lot more. But I want to have a look at some of these kids. We are the youthful Hatfield Town after all. In fact, we just won the uh, we just broke the record for most consecutive wins. 13 games. Not bad. Yeah, some of these players I'm really disappointed with. Ha, Vincent's new contract, good. So he's got the one-year optional extension as well, so we can force him to stay for an extra season if we so wish. So he's he's with us basically now until 2024. Which is good. Guess an injured twisted ankle. Ouch, yeah, I've done that. That's painful. Cold to silver man of the match. Did he score? I got two assists. That's fair enough. No statistical data exists for Lamborn. Well, make your own, you lazy bastard. I hate that. Okay, they're small teams, but just go watch them play. They're, they're, I'm sure there's, there's a league match or something that they would have been involved in that we could have gone and watched them. Rather than going back and telling me there's no data for them. That means you're using someone else's work and passing it off as your own. That's plagiarism. Not good. Uh, right, team selection advice. Really weird selection advice. Look at that. You want Vincent at left wing. Jones at right wing. Who the bloody hell... 
Why are you my assistant manager again? I might replace you at the end of the season. You nutcase. Weird selections. Staff numbers update. Uh, oh, I now have six coaches rather than three. That's good. And four scouts rather than two. Ah, work permit. That might be a problem. Right, let's see, let's have a look at the staff. I could possibly add. So what am I looking for? Coaches. Personality balanced. I might untick that box for now. I'm not too fast. About your personality. If you're a good coach, I'm really not fast. Maybe bring you in. Sam Salmon. Wow, what a name. So let's imagine I'm bringing you in as a coach. You've actually got good all round stats. And you're young, you're only 30. That ain't happening. Uh, coach. One K compensation. Let's do it. So let's then go for an attack minded coach. Who's also good with youth. You're not. You're okay. You also got good mental and good technical. Bobby Blake. You used to play for Burnley, didn't you? I think it was Burnley. So if we reach the first round of the FA Cup, I'll also give you a massive bonus. If we win the FA Vars, already done that. If we win this, which I don't even think we qualify for now we've been promoted. Okay, that one, no dice. I have a feeling he's not going to accept because of oh, lots of reasons he's not going to accept. Well, that's the end of that one then. Uh, Andy Hoskins, actually you're good with youth. So it's just the wage again. So again, first round of the FA Cup. Give you a big bonus. So you're going to be a coach. Actually, what were your stats? Assistant manager, oh, poor, really poor. See, so you're going to be a coach. That's non negotiable. Let me reach the final of the FA bars as well. I'll give you a massive bonus. Okay, so now it's just wages. Non-negotiable there. We might have a problem with wages. Damn. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to have to be very smart with who I... Oh, wow. Look at your working with you. Jamie De Cruz. wages either. Let's do it. So what's that? That was two. Uh, what coaches do I have at the moment? Do I have a goalkeeping coach? I do. And I have a fitness coach. So yeah, I really do just want first team coaches right now. So that's the attacking one covered. Let's have a look at the defending one. Straight away, you caught my eye. 
and you're interested, which is good. Bring you in. And now things like technical is also quite important and tactical. So you're quite good across the board. James Slater. And you're currently unattached, so you should be quite easy to bring in. Why is your contract length so short? Just till the end of the season for some reason. I have to renew. Okay, let's do that. And now, I think that took us to four, didn't it? Let's have a look at scouts. Increasing my scouting is important. Wow. Look at the director of football. Directors of football we're now attracting. None of these are very good though. No. Not very good at all. Mental attributes. So I want good judging player potential. Because we're going to be signing quite a few youth players. So Dominic Smalley. Actually, let's go with Ben Dixon. Robbie Blake again. Okay. Who are you? Jordan Britton. Can I bring you in as a scout? Yes, I can. Even though you're better off as a director of football by lots of things. Cool. Is that good? That should be some good recruitment there. We'll see when they actually arrive. Whether they're as good as they claim they are. Are you actually that good? Good heading stats. All right, tackling. Let's get an analyst report as well. Might as well cover all bases. Despite the fact we've just won the league, I do see this as a transition. Because, you know, some of the older players are getting towards the end of their time with us now. Some new players coming in, some of which aren't as good as I would have hoped, which is a little disappointing. Um, shall I? No, I'm not going to play these friendly matches. Oh, apparently I am playing these. Why am I playing these friendly matches? Because I didn't click confirm. That's why. Yeah, I, I want to test out. Wooten and Willock scoring now, that's good. I want to test out some, some of the younger players in these league matches now. You can do it in friendlies, but you know, the chances are they won't last very long in friendlies before they get subbed off. Because you have an 11-man bench. We have a 12-man bench, technically. So yeah, I want to give them a fair chance. The underdog's causing Hatfield far more problems than had been expected. Really? His possession was pretty even. Actually, shots were pretty even as well. 17-11. That is pretty close. And they did score. But we were 2-0 up when they scored. And then we scored 8 minutes afterwards to end the game. I don't think... I don't think it was that bad. Matty Willock playing well. See, him and Vincent are pretty much our first choice midfield now. Forwards. Josh Mead, I don't really know what's going to happen to him. Might loan him out. I want to keep him because he's a good young player. He's got good potential still. But you, you do have to put your head over your heart sometimes. Alright, let's have a look. So Mead right now, two and a half star potential. His stats are dropping and he hates me. He is available for the academy squad. So that would be a help. Let's um, let's have a look at some of these other players. So Phil Murray, Simon Ham, Jason Herbert. Uh, yeah, just these three, I think, for now. Move to the academy squad. Uh, move to the academy squad and then 
Walker, McIntosh, Herbert, Balogun, Pennell, and Gesson. You're all going to move to the under 23 squad. And then George, Oigan, Omukoto, Gillespie, and McCrory. You're also going to move to the academy squad. Why are you still? Oh, because you're a. That'll be why. As you can see, the squad is getting considerably smaller now. Pament. I mean, you know he's going to leave at the end of the season. I can't see him staying. Why isn't Gesson not moved? There we go. Um. Yeah, I'm going to leave it like this for now, but I'm going to go into Development Center, Academy, Squad, and then I'm going to take um, Wilson, Tyra, I've got his name right now, Mensa, Smith. And actually, I'm, I'm going to move Murray back. You're all now going to move. Why can't I move you to the senior squad? So was it you, Murray? Oh, it's Murray that won't move. Tyra. Let's do that. And then for this next league match, let's start Tyra at centre back instead of fielding. No nonsense as well. That sounds perfect to me. We'll also start um, Smith. Actually, no, we won't. Where's Wilson? There's Wilson. I want to start Wilson up front. pressing forward, which also is awesome to have him doing that. Sangare will go on the bench instead of Sadie. <clears throat> I can't see him lasting long before the match plan kicks him out again, but just to have him there to begin with would be cool. I also can uh, retrain him as a right midfielder, it said. Which he is currently being trained to do. I want you to be attack though. Additional focus crossing would be good. So what can I do? Attacking? No, final third. No, passing? Oh, crossing. It's got its own thing. And we'll put you on double intensity. What about traits? Can't discuss any new ones at the moment. He's very aggressive actually. Look at that. Bloody hell. Anyone else? Smith. Yeah, I'd like to put Smith probably on the bench, actually, instead of Hodnam. And then Mead maybe on the bench instead of Yahaya. Let's try this. For the next match and see what happens. So we've got Kempston Rovers at home. They're 14th in the league. So it's, it's a pretty good time to experiment with your lineup. Uh, so we've got coaching staff agreeing new contracts, which is good. James Slater is joining, so you are you're the technical coach, mental, tactical, technical. You've also got good determination and good level of discipline. And he's a light-hearted personality, which could be good. Britain, the new scout. I should have kept an eye on the age actually, because 56. Actually, it's not too old. We can get sort of 10 years out of him. Uh, the crews. This is the one I was most excited about, I would say, because of that stat there. Also, he's good with attacking and he's good with mental. Kemp 
st st uh, scouting report. I might have a look at increasing my scouting budget for next season, because we always run out around this time of the season. It would be nice if I had a decent scouting budget moving forwards. Salmon has also arrived. Yeah, he's the uh, attacking, defending coach. Uh, ben Dixon, also in his 50s, but very good scouting uh, ratings. Right. Doesn't need any more s coaching staff members. So let's have a look at my existing team. Who's not great? You. Bill Slater, I've just brought you in. You're a fitness coach. Who was my... Was it Ian Hart? You're good at defending, you're good at youth, and you're good at... What are you... Is that tactical? Yeah, why, why is it... Oh, tactical coaching. That's why it's TCO. Let's head back to this. So you're good at defending... Do a comparison. Hart kind of takes it. Yeah, Hart takes it. So I think we'll be keeping Hart. My young players attracting interest, but my uh, head of youth keeps rejecting the offers because he doesn't feel he doesn't feel it matches his valuation of the player, which I still find funny. You know that we're a youth team, youthful team, I should say, uh, in the lower leagues of English football. There isn't any value in our players. Anyone can come in and take them. I'm gonna try and bring Woodson back in on trial for four weeks, then hopefully sign him. So I imagine right now he's not interested in discussing a contract. Considering the previous breakdown in talks, it normally says. Alright, come on, take over to the match. I want to see what happens. tickets. The Hats have the second best average attendance in the league at the moment. That's good. We're attracting bigger crowds then. Wooten's back. Yeah, look, I've rejected this transfer bid on behalf of the management as I feel the offer didn't match my valuation of the player. I've been trying to loan this guy out all season. Some offers get accepted, but because more teams keep coming in and then they, the offers get rejected, he just stays in limbo. So I kind of need an affiliate team just so I can loan out these younger players. Alright. Let's try. Okay, he's interested in talking. Okay, he wants non-contract now. That's fine. I can do that. Yeah, look. All rejected. Didn't meet his valuation of the player. How ridiculous. The board want to keep me. That's good. Did it use the word strong and stable there? I really hope it didn't. I have a horrible feeling it did. And this guy's stats get worse and worse every time I scout him. Gives you an idea. Plus we're getting more accurate scout reports now as well. Right, match day. Bring it on. Was rejected that one. Oh, that one's accepted. That's for him to leave though, rather than just go out on loan. 
I just want to have a look at this now because we've got the new scouts coming in. Oh, you look good. For you on trial. Do we have got some more players now appearing on here? Can you properly play right back? I'll scout you and find out. I'm looking for new wing, well not wing backs, new full backs as well. Alex Cormier again, coming available. It's tempting. He is tempting. Both wings. Can't play up front. And then there's this guy. Nah, I'm happy with Cox. That sounds wrong. I'm happy with Ashley Cox out wide though. He's done alright this season. Club vision. Can I get an affiliate team? I can get a senior one. We have rich as hell. We're about to spend money on training ground, I suppose. We've got 510,000 in the bank. Not many clubs at this level can say they've got half a million quid in reserve. Alright, Hatfield offered me a contract. Start negotiations. Maybe I could have made it part of my... facilities completed. So that's good. Yeah, I'm just going to accept. I could have made it part of my contract negotiation, I suppose, that we get a senior affiliate. Maybe they would have agreed to it then. I don't know. You don't want to risk that kind of thing. There's no reason why Sky Sports would be interviewing me right now either. We're not that big. It's because it's in the game. Right. Match time. It's been ages since we last played a match. I really should try and do more match stuff in these videos. But there we go. Anyone who's interested in sort of the running of a football club. You know, it's football manager at the end of the day. It's not just football coach. Right, we've got some, uh, some good players out still. I want to have a look actually at... Um, the under 18 squad. I just want to see if we've got anyone who could play in that cam role. Do these kids not get signed? Huh. Maybe they won't be staying. You though. Mind you, you're not on trial. I'll, I'll see if I can get you on a new contract anyway. There's a Luke Lane. Okay, so nothing there. You're a set back. You're both left wingers. So nothing there. There's Mead. Should I start Mead? Where is he? Oh, he's on the bench, isn't he? Nah, I'll keep him on the bench. Keep him on the bench. Smith, though. I'm tempted to start Smith. I'm going to stick with this. We'll see what happens. It might be 15 minutes, 3 subs are made. You never know. Alright, Wilson kicks off. Back to Cordner. Across to Pyro. He's quite tall actually. Keep going. 16 years old. Centre back. You have to be pretty big. Fitzhugh finds Wilson in the channel. Locks cross. That was unlucky. So I say Wilson's a pressing forward. He's supposed to close down those situations. Okay, not bad start. First couple of minutes. Things looking good. Cox on corners. Why is Vincent not on that one? Ooh, Tyra. 
nearly with a debut goal. Get a replay of that. Yeah, I did it just over. Unlucky. Offsides there. Steal with the cross. That's uh, easy for the goalkeeper. I perhaps could have rotated the goalkeepers as well. Maybe next time. Alright, Cordner to Willard Innocent. Awful pass. Oh, Cox. I thought he had that at least. Good challenge Willock. Good play Cordner as well. Be alert. Cox on the ball. Back to Cordner. Willard Innocent. Nice pass forward. Good flick by Wilson to Carter. Carter shoots. Saved. That was a good flick by Wilson. Just a little dink over his shoulder. Come on, boys. Let's start having some, uh, some shots on goal that are highlights. We've had four shots, two on target. They've had none so far. Good header by Tyra. Vincent to Fitzhugh. Back to Lewis. Ball forward. Carter flicks it to Wilson. Wilson, good first touch. Bit of a tame shot here. There's another shot on target though. I wouldn't say that was replay worthy. Game agrees. Blanchard to Gregory. Cox closing down. Cox wins it. That's good. Cox going alone. Good defending. Cox was basically through on goal there, one on one. Good defending to come back and uh, tackle him. Tyra should get this one. No problem. Plays it safe to Lewis. Lewis not so safe. Oh, we are going to get a replay. <coughs> they seem to put the afterburners on here. Wilson should have got in the middle for the pullback, though. So there's a little bit of positional awareness there. That's come on for Cox. I feel bad for him. He, he did 25 minutes this time, though. So that's good. And Wara came on for Tyra. 35 minutes. That's cross. Carter in the middle. Good save. So Wilson staying out there for now. Mind you, he's playing a... He's only a 6.6 .6 actually. That's quite low. Joint lowest rating. Ooh, that was slightly better though. Imagine if that had gone in. This was the first replay of Dath crossing it in. Good save by Redman. Oh yeah, I didn't have a look at Parsons. Did I have the last game? I have to do that. Vincent with the right foot pass. Wilson, good first touch. Is he going to shoot? He is. Good save. It's another corner. So that should be a replay. When the time comes. Vincent now on court. Oh no, we get one now. Vincent on his right foot. You don't see that very often. Great first touch by Wilson. Just narrowed the angle a little too much. <coughs> Vincent now with the corner. Fitzhugh's volley. 1-0. And a very flamboyant celebration there. Don't know what the two robots are doing behind him. That was definitely a defensive error. They're number six. Should have headed that away.
Carter, good header. Willock clears it out to Daff. The break is on. Oh, good skill. Good skill. Unlucky. Oh, he's won it back, though. Finds Fitzhugh. Wilson. Oh. <laughs> Shot on target again. Kempston still haven't had a shot. Vincent's free kick. That's a real good one. Fitzhugh's volley. Good save. That was a real whipper, that free kick. Very well hit. Look at this. Look at the power on that. All you have to do on those is redirect it towards goal. Now he's got the corner. Again, that was a really good ball. I, I might have to start putting someone on the penalty spot. Kempston now with the break. That was good defending, actually. See, Lewis was staying on their number 10 until Corden came back. And then he started moving out to attack the ball. That was good defending. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I might need to put someone on the edge of the box for corners now as well. They've troubled us a little bit there. Obviously the shot wasn't very good, but they, they've kind of highlighted a point, which is we don't have anyone on the edge of box, edge of the box for uh, set pieces. Alright, Robinson. To Gregory. Plays it forward first time to steal. That's a good ball in, good goalkeeping. Commanded his area. So Wilson's still out there, plugging away. Six point five rating, not the highest. Lewis back to Andre Jr. To Wara. Cordner. Back to the keeper. That was a risk. That was a massive risk. You never play it back to your keeper between the posts. You always go to the side of the goal. For that exact reason. Is that the last sub? Yep. Sangari coming on. Wilson did alright. 6.5. It's not, not the best rating. But I think, sort of individual basis, I think he's done okay. I think he's done okay. What is this column? Total completed passes. Okay. So he completed 70% of his passes. Yeah, good condition when he came off. And he ran a bloody long way. He had a couple of good shots on goal too. Alright, Pattinson crosses it. Cordner with the header away to Carter. The break is on again. It's a 5v4 if he gets his head up. Plays it through for Sangare. Good first touch, good save. Not the best strike, but good save regardless. Could have snuck under him. Vincent with the corner. He went far post that time. Daff now on it. Finds Willock. Is he going to shoot? No. Nope. That's a nice pass out to Vincent. He's on his weaker foot though. Wara. Back to Vincent. Back to Wara. He crosses it. Sangari's header. A bit tame that one. Forces a corner still. Carter needed to keep his head down. Yeah, we don't need to see this replay. That was ages ago. So we've still got 20 minutes left of this game. This has felt like a really long match. I know I've put extra highlights on, but it's felt like a really, really long match.
I'm wondering if I can make a starting 11 entirely out of youth players. Maybe we'll do that for the last game of the season. Way, Logan. I'm going to put it back on key highlights, I think. Because some of these highlights aren't the greatest, let's be honest. Well, apparently this is a key highlight. So let's see what happens. Cordner with the clearance. Fits here the furthest player forward because we've gone to the defensive formation. Carter's playing as a centre-back for reasons. Good blocked shot there. They've come into the game more, Kempston, but we have controlled it. And there we go, 1 0 win. But yeah, I'm wondering if I can make an 11 entirely out of youth players. We have got a few matches to go still. Tell you what, for the Bulldog, as you know, for the Harpenden game, I'm going to play Bulldog away and then Harpenden will be the last match of the video and for the Harpenden game I'm going to play actually you're a cup game hmm maybe this Letchworth match then because we are coming up towards the time Aaron 21 so I might manage this uh, this friendly and see if I can make an 11 out of home grown players so let's turn you on again. Good performance though, nice 1 0 win. Clean sheets are always good. We'll accept you. This is going to say Wilson was the worst player. I know, no poor performance is worth noting. So they've given Wilson a good thumbs up there. He could be a good player for us. He could be a very good player for us. Even now, he's the fifth best rated striker in the squad. That includes players like McIntosh and Walker and Ngessen. I like that. I do like that. Right, you. You look quite good. You do look quite good. And you're 17. Can I sign you? Is it going to cost me a lot? It's not. Looks like it's going to be free. Oh no, there we go, 16,000. Let's do it. What's the worst that can happen? He's, he's young, so that technically counts as you know, signing someone uh, from the youth team. What are you unhappy about? Strengthen the first team. Are you joking? Are you joking, mate? Actually, have I strengthened the first team? I don't suppose I have. Willock coming in has strengthened it, but the other two, not so much. If I could bring Carl Wooten in, though, that's a big strengthener. Anyone else? On here that I could perhaps bring in? This guy, maybe? That is the problem when you have... Oh, Joe White as well. When you have um, sort of big-name players in your team, even when you're trying to play a certain way, so you're only trying to sign youth players or whatever, you do still end up with lots of players keeping up a fuss. When you don't do things their way, it can be quite frustrating. So who have we got? Um, I think the, the most difficult positions to fill are going to be the sort of the fullback positions. I'm going to sign this guy. And... I mean, you're both full... But oh, you. Yeah. Because then you can play right back. Might as well sign you as well to play left back. <clears throat> Although we've got uh, Omikoto who can play left back. That's actually who I was looking for. So I think you're here now, aren't you? 
Yeah. Let's just move you up. Uh, Oigan, we'll move you up. Really? Really? Fine. Um, move you back. Mead is already in, so that's fine. Uh, Roberts, you're a right winger, aren't you? Yes. Let's move you in. Um, George. So let's, let's start assembling this team. Uh, before I do that, where's Sangare? Put you there. And then the bench. Uh, oh yeah, I'll move fielding back. And I think that's fine. Oh no, where's Hodnan? Where's Hodnan? So I just want to quickly save. My strongest 4231. Right. Clear. Entire team. So are you are you a youth you're not youth, are you? No, you joined. I need a youth goalkeeper. So who have I got here? Two no. Yeah, no, you're not. It's not gonna work. Suleiman, I suppose. Balogun I signed, don't know that for sure. Let's go back to here. So Suleiman in goal. And then at right back, <coughs> who have I got? No one right now. Left back is going to be on the Kuto. And then centre backs. Let's go with George. And where's he gone? Uh, Tyra. So you're going to be a no nonsense as well. Right back, we'll have to come back to in a second. Midfield, we'll have Smith on the right and Mead on the left. And then for the attacking midfield, um, Mario Cox. I think it's going to be Cox still. And then Roberts on the right. There's going to be a winger set to attack. Attacking midfield, we've got some choices. Uh, Wilson's going to be up front. Sadie joined us, didn't he? It's not ours. He joined from Bournemouth. Nice. Who shall I put behind the striker? I mean, if he signs in time, maybe Rutherford Wilton. be there. He was the first player to play there, wasn't he? I believe he was. We'll just play you as an advanced playmaker. Set to attack. Okay, and then the bench. It would be cool if I could make a bench out of youth as well. Let's see if I can do that. Pick without restriction. That would be good. Right, hang on, let's save this quickly. Four, two, three, one, A for Academy. Let's see how I went pick youth prospects. What's it come up with? 
No. Let's go back to this. I like this better. Right. So let's go again and find a right back. So if we've got the Indiana 23s. Phillips. And that's it. Under 18s. We've got Connor Curtis. So yeah, for the bench, maybe we just use, like, Murray can go on the bench for a start. We'll put you, let's say, there. Uh, so Johnson, maybe. Yeah, higher, definitely. Uh, who else? Pament, Shaw. Sure. The Silver. Hancock's is the left back choice, uh, which is there. Wara. Might as well put Lewis on the bench as the right back choice. So I need the, another centre midfielder, like Jealous, and then some strikers. Sadie Jones. I think this. I'll save this. Four, two, three, one, A. Make sure the match plan's set up. Yep, good stuff. We'll play against Letchworth. It'll probably make like six subs in the first 20 minutes. As it tries to put the best team out there. We'll see how that how it works. It'd be nice if it didn't. Again, no statistical data exists. I find that very hard to believe. So yeah, this will be the last match of the video. I'll finish the season off camera, uh, including the cup. If we do get to the cup final, I might record that and just insert it into the beginning of the next video. Carl Woodson joining, good stuff. Already building the team for next season, which I'm very happy with. So Sangare and Woodson are gonna be my strikers. I might just play Woodson as a target man from the start of the next season and have Sangare come on as the impact player. We'll see, actually the other way around might work because Sangare will run the defense ragged, make them tired, and then Woodson will come on and just bully them. That might work better. match time not quite Wait, he actually lived up to his rating look at that Herbert not leaving scouting meeting not really interested in that I might move Herbert actually to the academy. Ready for next challenge. Bring all these guys in on trial. So these are players that have been told they're not good enough for um, Premier League academy sides. So we might be able to pick up some good players there. Normally at this level, they're just not interested in talking to you though. Right. Um, Ekpion. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Has agreed to join. Let's find out what his actual rating is now, shall we? Actually, yeah, not far off. Curtis signs a youth contract. Good stuff. This is all the players I tried to bring in on trial. So if we've got Ekpiong now, is he in the first team? No. Where did he go? If I bring you into the first team, I 
let's start you instead of George. I like this better. Save. Four, two, three, one. A. Actually, I might put Y instead. There are some players joining, well there's one joining on trial, two joining on trial. Elliot Clark, 17 year old midfielder from Chelsea, imagine if, do you want a left back, you can also play centre back. Let's see what we can do with that, same with you. Right, match time. Yeah, those young players, it'd be good to bring them in and put them in the academy, because you never know how they might develop. So we're going to go with this team. It might not be the best, most exciting match in the world, but it'd be interesting to see how these guys will play together. Particularly the new guy, Nick Pyong. He's the best out of all of them, I'd say. I'm going to put it on extended highlights, just so we get a good, good set of highlights out of this. Cox with a free kick. Wilson's header just over the top. Oh, it's Gillespie with the header just over the top. Doesn't sound like there's any fans in the stadium. There's no crowd noise. Should I put it on comprehensive? Oh, here come the subs. Johnson, Hodnett, Sadie and Jealous all on. stick it on comprehensive instead because we're already 18 minutes in I want to get a good look at these players and see how, how good they really are so who went off Gillespie Curtis Suleiman and Roberts a bit disappointing they didn't get longer actually Sadie with the chance there though good save I think uh, off camera I'm going to swap out the bench for an academy bench as well. Oh, Tyra! Goal! Cox with the cross, Tyra with the goal. He is tall. Look at that, he towers over there, number 10. Great header. Very nice. Maybe I should make it an objective to have at least one academy graduate in the starting 11 each game. Or just in the, the match day squad each game. And I might include, like if I sign a 17 year old from Chelsea for example, I might include them as an academy graduate. Just for the sake of the um, experiment. We'll see. I've got to live up to the name though. The youthful Hatfield Town is quite a bold statement to make from the get go. It's some really good build-up play, by the way. Unlucky Wilson. Just ran out of options at the end. Nick Pierre with a good header. Smith seems to be dominating the midfield. That was a nice pass as well to Cox. He's held on to it, finds Wilson, crosses it in. Jealous is header. Good save. Nice play. Who else just came on? I'm sure someone else just got subbed on there. Sadie running through. Went for goal. Selfish. I'm sure someone else got subbed on. Oh, Cox has gone off. Who came on for Cox? 22. Murray. Okay, that's not bad. Jealous with the pullback. Smith with the shot. Easy. Should have hit it first time. Good creative play though from who was it took the corner? Jealous. I 
Ashburn hits the post. <sighs> That's worrying. Johnson with the catch at least. Alright, Tyra, free kick. Nice. Wilson running onto it. Nice. Good first touch. Ooh. Not much composure in the shot. I don't know if this is in the game or not, but I like to think that if you promote sort of two players from the youth system at the same time, that they're kind of familiar with each other and know how each other play. So if you look at that ball from Tyra, anyone else playing up front, that probably wouldn't have worked. But if you think Wilson knows that Tyra likes to play it long like that, and Tyra knows that Wilson likes to run in behind, suddenly you've got that good combination between the two. You can build chemistry between players. You can have a partnership between players. So maybe that's something that develops as players go through the academy together. They kind of know how each other plays. I don't know how deep the chemistry system actually runs in the game though. Maybe someone who knows more about it can tell me. Alright, Smith to Sadie. Good play from Smith. He's, he's doing alright. 6.9. Sadie's just being selfish. I can see him getting subbed off again in the second half. He's not gelling with the rest of the team. Tyra's currently man of the match. He goes head to that one as well, even though it was offside. Wow, Sadie actually crossed it. Do you see that? Someone clipped that. That might be a rarity. Smith. Bit optimistic. Murray just didn't even bother chasing that one down. Yeah, I'd give him the finger too, Smith. Coming up to half time. We've done that thing again where we score early and then just sit back a little bit. Oh, that's a nice ball from Tyra. Oh, unlucky. Slightly better first touch from Murray and he'd have been through then. He was the guy we brought in from Stevenage, wasn't he? So he technically shouldn't qualify here. But then I suppose he was on the bench to start with. Smith on the ball. He's just running the show. Look at that. Another great pass. Sadie did cross it again. To be fair to him, he did cross it again. Jealous with the corner. Sadie's header. He should have crossed it. Headed it back or something. I don't know. I'm being harsh. Jealous with the free kick. Sadie again over the top. No, he had, he had every right to go for goal on that one. I'm not criticising that. Alright, second half. Any extra subs? Not yet. Omakoto to Murray, back to Omakoto. Ball forward, not quite enough on it. He's number 18. Nice, jealous. He's on the free kick here. He crossed it, I thought he might have had a shot from there. Meets header, well saved. <coughs> I'm surprised he crossed that one actually. Very surprised. Mead dispossessed. Ikpion, good ball forward, finds Wilson. He was offside. I had a feeling he might have been. Johnson short to Tyra. Goes long towards Wilson. He was a bit isolated there. Needs bodies around him. Should be Hodnitz, it is. Now Tyra. Ekpion. Back to Johnson. He's had a very quiet time in goal. Only two shots to deal with. Tyra again playing it forward. Wilson, I think, lost out, but manages to win it back. Finds Smith. 
Sadie should have been running there. That was a good opportunity. Wilson got on his bike as soon as he passed it. Pardon it, good header, finds Sadie. And he's just, he's not getting his head up, he's not looking for the pass. Murray now, is he going to shoot? He is? Ooh, good save. That could have caused problems. I swear Midley, Midgley just came on for Letchworth and he's gone off again. Jealous with the corner. That was a nice looking cross. Where you can see it's kind of got power but it's floating in the air as well. That's always a good one to watch. Murray couldn't really do much there. Cooper to Ashman. Ball forward. Hodner has completely misjudged that. Tyra bailing him out. No? Really? Penalty? I didn't think that looked like a bad challenge myself, but there we go. Gregory on it, up against Johnson. I mm. think he should have saved that, really. I think he should have saved that. That wasn't the world's best penalty. In fact, it went pretty much straight through the goalkeeper. game. Uh, game. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing. Okay, that seems to fix it. Oh, I was worried then because I hadn't saved it. I think it did some auto saves though. Oh yes, Murray. Smith with the cross. Good goal. So we've got some more subs now. Uh, War has come on. I think Hancock has come on as well. Good one too there. Sadie actually passed it. Look at that. Murray just coming in from behind his man. Good header. So yeah, who else has come on? Uh, War has come on. Hancock's has come on. Tyra and Omikoto have gone off. And Yahaya's come on. And Jones has come on. For Mead and I'm guessing Wilson. Yeah, it looks like Wilson. Smith here on the ball. Find Sadie. Back to Smith. Back to Sadie. Those two seem to get on well then. Blocked cross. At least he tried to cross it. Can't criticise that. He tried. Sadie to Hodnip. Sadie does eventually get it back. Smith. Get higher. Nice pass. Find Sadie out wide. He's got a crossing opportunity here. He's waited just a fraction too long. He's blocked for a corner. He should have really got that out of his feet first time and swung it in. Jealous with the corner. Into the middle. Comes to Sadie. Is he going to shoot? No. Puts it out wide to Jealous. Needs to cross it. That wasn't a bad cross, actually, to be fair. Headed behind for another corner. Okay, I'm going to take it off comprehensive now, because we're going to be here all day otherwise. Put it back on extended. Ekpiong to Smith. Now Wara. Bit heavy on the cross, but he does find Murray. That's an awful first touch. Jealous now. Oh, that was going top corner. That was going top corner. That could have caused some problems. 
Just looking who's on the bench still. We got Lewis, Pamant, and De Silva. And it's only a centre back and a centre midfielder who haven't been subbed off yet. Don't know how they're going to do that. They might just play the full 90 at this rate, Ekpyong and Smith. Oh, I thought he'd scored then. That was Ekpyong with the header. Now it's Smith. Block shot. Let it go for a corner. That's it. Smith currently man of the match. Tyra second place. Smith's just been amazing. 86% pass completion. 66 passes attempted. That is insane. Look at the... I mean, the next highest, I think, is 30. That was the crossbar getting hit again. I think Jealous might have been offside there, so leaving that to go behind was a good move. I might have to give Smith his role on the bench again. Oh, Sadie. He just cannot keep his head down. He might be leaving at the end of the season. He did alright for us. He was always kind of a bit part player. Even when he first joined. I remember being excited when he joined because he had good stats. But he never really settled. Uh, Trebez to Axtell. Nice ball forward. No pressure there from uh, Wara on their guy. Trevor's with the header inside. Wara does now decide he wants to play football. <coughs> Find Johnson. Now Ekpion. Back to Johnson. Wara. We do play some good stuff. We do possession football. Smith with another fantastic pass. 73 passes now. He's dropped down to 84%, but that's still good. Sadie's cross. Cleared only as far as Murray, who knocks it back to your higher. I think he felt like shooting then. He almost did. Hancock's. That's a nice ball. If Murray can get onto it. Oh, unlucky. I think he went for goal then. He should have crossed it. Alright, the Silver's on for Smith. He played really well, Smith. I was really impressed. And Lewis has come on for Sadie. So I wasn't wrong when I said Lewis was, wasn't going to last the full full game. For some reason, Murray's playing right back. Where's Lewis playing? Central midfield. That doesn't sound right, does it? Well, Ekpion, good header there to Hancox. Finds Lewis. Yahaya to Hancox. Back to Hodnett, who's playing centre-back as well. Eggpyong's had a great game. There's, there's a few standout performers. Murray has done well. He scored, obviously. Um, Eggpyong has done really well at the back. Jealous. Nice set pieces from him. Uh, Tyra also getting on the score sheet and defending well. He did give away the penalty, but I still think that was harsh. And then Smith, who just ran the game. He had an absolutely fantastic match in midfield. That's full time. Good match. 2-1. Bit disappointed about the penalty still. Like I said, it's, it's harsh. I didn't think it was a foul myself. That's why I'm disappointed. But that was a really good performance from a good youthful team. And that is the future of Hatfield Town right there. So um, I'm quite happy with that. And I think that pretty much does it. I'll let the game save. And I'll do my outro. That pretty much does it for this video. Uh, I'm enjoying the series. The one week video I quite like. I like the fact that I let you guys vote as to when you want to see it as well. It kind of feels like the Afterthought series right now because it's the one that always loses the vote. I always put it up against like Motorsport Manager last week. I put it up against and it lost. Um, I think the week before that I put it up against City Skylines and it lost. But that one I can kind of understand. Um, I'm sure I've put it up against something else. I can't remember off the top of my head. It loses a lot. That's what I remember. So it's a little bit disappointing, but, you know, find its audience, that's the thing. I'm not too disheartened. But yeah, that does it for this video, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And, of course, if you're enjoying the series, drop some comments down below. 
uh, give me some ideas for tactics, signings, transfers, all that good stuff. Um, besides that, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to the channel, thank you guys for your continued support. And until next time, I will see you soon.